Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, <coughs> we are going to look at one more thing, which uh, one of the one of my students did ask about it, which is uh, caching. Okay, so there are already pre pre built caches available. Now, what is caching and everything? We will will come to that definition later, as usual. So first, let's do one thing. Let's add a cache manager. First, we will create a cache manager. Okay. And in this cache manager, we are going to say that um, we are going to say um, webm poc cache manager. We are not going to deal with this terracotta at all, and I'm not going to even discuss about terracotta because that's a separate subject altogether. So let's ignore as of now what's terracotta. Okay, I'm going to click on save manager. Sorry, save changes, and then if you can see here. It's disabled because right now this is in. You need to start the cache. Okay, to do that, I'll just click on this and see what happens. If I click on the cache and see what happens, start. Okay, see now it's green color, <coughs> green or blue. I think it's blue. Okay, now once cache manager has been created, to deal with cache in WM public, you have a thing called cache here. See. you can put the keys or the information or you can get it okay so let me create a flow service first for caching um say store caching okay and then a service which can retrieve it okay to store it let me insert few values okay let me insert few values within the store cache okay we will say insert insert values insert values so the first thing that is asking is the cache manager name so what is that we have given this is a cache manager name see cache manager name okay so let's go inside this and give this double click okay and what's the cache name now where can i get that let's go inside this and as you can see you need to add the cache okay so click on this and i'll say cache and we are going to say uh, some value say uh, insert <coughs> names only okay maximum elements to be stored in the memory i'll say the maximum elements that can be saved is 100 i'll just say 100 1000 2000 whichever whichever time to leave i'll leave it as it is time for idle no i'm not going to do any of those things um cache configure advanced settings disk expiry interval thread clear on flush read on write these are all the advanced settings that you have to think a lot to um uh, uh, to work on the caching i mean like in real project in real time projects we don't think so much to be honest we just use it for retrieving key value pairs i have seen that's the maximum use you do it for cache apart from that i have not seen anyone using more than that okay so i'm going to take this okay and this is what i'm going to give my cache in name okay cool so once it's done i think i'm this is dropping my variables it's of no use cool click on save changes and as you can see it's enabled see please don't get confused if you click on this if you click on this it becomes no the way how you have to read it is enabled no it's not enabled okay if you click on this enabled now that becomes enabled okay now what are we going to do is that we are going to insert the names so key and value pair So I'm going to do one thing. I'll say uh, key uh, insert key insert value. <coughs> okay, insert key and insert value. So I'm going to insert this. It will auto automatically convert. That's not a problem. String to object. Use writer. Not sure what's a use writer all about. I have never never use use this. Let's check what's a use writer. Go to our uh, integration built-in reference. Cache put. 
Use writer. It's an optional cool. Indicates whether to use cache writer to populate the value. It's asking whether I have to use cache writer to what to populate the value of the cache element in system of records. I don't know what is system of records. I guess again, I've never used called as system of records. I, it's, it's even pretty much new to me. System of records. Let's Google it out. What is system of records? Okay. A system of records or SOAR is a data management term for an information storage that is authoritative data source. Let's check it out. What it means? System of record. Okay. System of record. It just means it's a data management term. It's a data management term. Okay. For information storage system, for an information storage system, just an information for storage system that is authoritative data source for given data element or a piece of information. It's like the need to identify system of records can become acute in organizations where management systems have been built by taking output data from multiple sources. Okay. That's fine. System of approach is good fit for environments where both there's a single authority or all the data consumers or all the consumers have similar needs. But in our case, it's uh, nothing of that sort. We don't use so much on this. So just let's clear this out. It's of no significance. So we'll leave that as it is. Now, after this, I think I, am, I need to drop the variables. As usual, guys, don't forget to drop the variables. I've given so much of importance on that. Right, right click, run as flow service, insert key, key one, value one. I'll say key one, 10. Okay, so key two, 20. Okay. Key 3, 30. Cool. So we have inserted three values. Now, obviously, if I go back here, uh, you can't see anything what has been inserted over here, but it's it's for sure it's there. Okay, it's for sure it's there. And um, how to retrieve that? So let's do one thing. There is, let me drag and drop get cache here get cache flow service and we have use put and we use, will use get okay in the get obviously again you need to give the cache manager oh that's a pain what about get all what's there in get all okay we'll check that later first cache manager name obviously this is my cache manager name and the cache name this is my cache name you can obviously have multiple cache names okay and what is the key key is nothing but you can't double click and insert that for that you need to pass the value key okay so key is mapped over here as again i'm not going to use loader one sorry so right click run as flow service you see key one see it has retrieved from as 10 so the execution time will increase because of using of cache uh, if i say key two see it has retrieved 20 yeah cool so now let's go back to our definition where is caching uh, there is what is caching caching is an optimization feature that can improve the performance of a service okay Caching can significantly improve the response of time service. Okay. You indicate the service for which you want to use caching from software as a designer. When you enable caching for a service, integration server saves the entire content of the pipeline after invoking the service in local or distributed cache. Okay. Uh, the period of time you specify. The pipeline includes the output field of output fields explicitly defined in the cache service. When integration server receives subsequent request for a service with the same set of input values, integration server returns the cache results to the client instead of invoking the service again. So this is the caching at the service level. See, this is caching at the service level. They're talking about using a public cache for service result caching. And here, um, Server, service, server and service usage. See, to reset all the cache for all the service, they're saying server and service usage. 
where is server and service usage right here you have this two cache that's running over here guys is this cool right see service and service usage see it's running count is two and i can click on this reset service cache see the service cache has been reset does it mean that the value has been lost let's see that if i reset it the value should be lost is it no value is still there so let me it's not resetting anyway so let me reset the service cache cache has been reset successfully get cache okay i'm going to even uh, reset the store cache as well let's see what happens now the value is anyway still there okay so the cache has not <coughs> been the values is still there but for the first time when you run it maybe it, it kind of gets it from the in memory and then saves it to the cache okay test store cache see i can even test the store cache okay i don't want to store anything i want to say get cache test get cache and i'm going to say key one test with inputs see it's 10 so what are they saying uh there's also option to say view service results in public cache package management packages uh service name let's see package package manage package management package name services let's see is that package package management and then it says packages services it says that services services and then service name if there is any one called as see stores cache you can do that as well that's fine but what is that they're going to say here mm. yeah when our cache results return when you enable caching for a service in software as a designer integration server handles the cache results differently depending on whether the service has input parameters it is recommended that the cache service has input parameters which we have when a cache service has input parameters at runtime integration server scope scopes the pipeline down only to the declared input parameters of the service see it scopes the pipeline only to the declared input parameters of the service integration server compares the scoped down inputs to the previously stored copy of the inputs if the cache entry exists with the input parameters on the same value integration server returns the re cache results from the previous service invocation okay that's how it's kind of placed it out here pipeline a b c d e f at runtime integration server scopes the pipeline down to only input parameters see if a b c have been cached then cached service it says a b c and compares them to the cached copy if they match the name dimension the value the cached output from the previous service is invoked so that's what they're going they're kind of explaining it to us you yeah you can also configure the integration server to use public cache by setting this extended value settings yeah guys so this ideally i'll tell you what the way i've seen it is they generally use terracotta here they configure the terracotta urls to cache the servers they go kind of deal with the terracotta uh, since we have not given terracotta integration server itself deals by default but ideally you should have terracotta to cache all the servers uh, to cache these services and other key value pairs terracotta is the right way of dealing with it not the other way around okay so either the way guys i hope you have understood the caching part of it and yeah that's something good that we have seen this in this particular tutorial let's see what else i can bring it up in the upcoming session until then have a great learning thank you